Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we've got a really cool video for you guys. We're going to talk about Smart EQ3. This is something I have personally been very excited about and it's finally out. So we're going to check it out. Before we get started, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and deals just like this. All right, so Smart EQ 3. Some of you are familiar with Smart EQ 2 or the original Smart EQ or some of the other Sonable um, kind of smart series like the Smart Compressor. We've covered a few of them in the past. I personally use the Smart EQ 2 on my own personal orchestral template. As you can see right here, I use it on uh, quite a few tracks, but especially on this one here. So what I'm gonna do for this project is show you how to use the new Smart EQ 3. We have a new updated interface and some new features. At its core, Smart EQ 3 is obviously a smart equalizer. It allows you to learn the input signal and apply a custom EQ curve depending on your source material. Now, so far I have this mostly on my string tracks. I can have it on my violins and I'm going to put it on the cellos right now. So let's go in and hit add the smart EQ three. Now we're going to play the song and hit the learn function and you will see how this works. So I simply hit record and it applies a very um, subtle EQ curve. And of course, this all depends on the actual audio signal. So one of the cool things I want to show you is the grouping function. So we're going to take these strings and let's go in to what we have applied here. And we're going to click join group. So now we have this group here. And we can take these and layer them. So if you look at the different layers here, it says layer one is the lead. Smart EQ three will try to keep tracks in this layer in the limelight. Layer two is support. Tracks in this layer will blend well with other tracks and may take the lead when there are no spectral clashes with tracks in layer one. And then layer three is the background. This track, uh, this layer contains tracks that are supposed to be heard in the background. So let's take our violins and learn those and apply these to the lead layer. So for this track and to really hear it, you're going to need some good headphones, but it makes some really subtle differences in kind of toning down resonant frequencies or kind of clashing frequencies. It's really, really cool and simple and makes everything sound better. Sometimes I don't even know if I really need this and then I add it on to some tracks and it improves the sound. <laughs> so let's check it out.
Now let's check out the Smart EQ3 on something totally different, a live audio signal or live recorded, and which is a guitar. So let's go and put it on these and then hear how it, you know, subtly changes the sound as well on these guitars.